Before I could edit this video and publish it, I sold this mug. Let's change it up today. I'm going to do a resale review. What I did was go around my Emporium and I picked out all my items that are related to fall. Like they're all fall colors. They're um, all vintage, I think, I think all vintage except for one. And you can see some of them behind me right there. I'm going to take the camera over and I'm going to show them to you because some of the items are so specific that if you weren't aware that they're available, you wouldn't even search for them. And so they make it like a little bit hard to find these unique vintage items. And I just wanted to show you that they're still available. They're all available on my eBay. Some are cross posted to Etsy. I would say all of them are available on eBay and only a few are cross posted. Let's start off with this. It is so unique. It is a wooden, tall matchstick holder. It's hand painted with a little farm scene and a little farm girl on it. It's just so unique. That's why I wanted to show it to you again. Uh, because someone who collects vintage or wants a vintage decor is not necessarily going to be looking for this specific item, but if they saw it, they might want it. So. Here it is again, so you can take a look at it. Again, all these items are available on my eBay and the link to my eBay store is down below in the description in my link tree. Also, the name of my store is Left Lane Finds on all platforms. You can always search for me that way and then just favorite me as a seller. Next up is this restaurant wear mug. It's got this wavy style on it. It's kind of like this orange salmon color. It is uh, Syracuse China. I'm not going to give you any prices in this video. If you're interested in items, you can go to my eBay store and take a look there. You can always email me at leftlanefinds at gmail.com. And this over here is a little ruffled Fenton hobnail candle holder in the amber color. Then I have some vintage ephemera over here. These are invitations that says can can you come and it's got the little can can girl dancing on them I just thought these were adorable then I have this now I think yeah this says Japan on the bottle so this is vintage but look at those colors on that just perfect for you can actually use it but it's perfect for fall decor and then this guy he's also really unique it's a wooden sign. It says welcome. He is kind of like a scarecrow with a pumpkin head. Now that is really, really unique. It is definitely in the country style. Then let's head over to the next table over here. I'm going to move my light out of the way. Oh, I'm going to have to fiddle around with that for a second. And let me turn it this way. There we have some more light. And let me get down closer. Okay, I'll start with these over here. I have uh, two of these coffee mugs that say coffee cafe, <laughs> all different ways of saying coffee on them. Obviously a vintage stoneware mugs. And it's funny, we, we found one at a thrift store and like one at the bins or something like that. Now one is slightly um, lighter than the other one, but they are identical otherwise. This back here is a Yankee Candle shade topper. I just love all these Yankee Candle toppers and they they only have them out for limited times and limited quantities. So sometimes like you're like, oh, I really wanted that Apple one. It's not like they put it out every year. And this one doesn't have a year on it. Sometimes they do have years on them. Um, so I don't know when this one was made, so I don't know if it's vintage or not. I just loved it because it had apples on it, and I just think it's so adorable. Back in the back there is a Japanese teapot with the wicker handle, and obviously it's usable. You can put hot water in there and serve tea out of it, but I just liked it because of that, the dark brown tones on it. It's just perfect for fall decor. Next up is this creamer and sugar, and it is more or less in the, I would 
what I would call a, like a farmhouse style. And it is, I'm going to turn this so you can read it. It says colonial stoneware. And what else does it say on there? Oh, microwave proof. Oven to table. So I'm thinking this is probably from the 70s, maybe, you know, late 70s into early 80s. Uh, but definitely vintage. And then we have this adorable mug. Look at him. He is awesome. It reminds me of Treasure Craft, but it is not Treasure Craft. You know, I say that, but it could be. It could be Treasure Craft, and I just don't know. You know, it's um, a souvenir piece from Nashville, Music City, USA. Um, it definitely, the more I look at it, it, does look like it might be a Treasure Craft piece. But we won't say it will, that it is, because it doesn't say it anywhere, and there's no markings that would indicate that. Then I recently got this guy, and he is just too cute. He's a little bathtub. One, bathtub, this is so unique in the fact that it's a bathtub. There's not too much in bathtub decor, <laughs> but it's a vintage ashtray. But on the inside, it says, we had a tub of fun in California. How adorable is that? And back to the middle here have this orange little cup. I think it's more like a planter. I mean, it's it's a stemless cup or a bowl. Um, this would be great for, like, if you're having a party and you wanted something small in here, like, this would be great to put out as decor for, like, a serving bowl. I just thought that was so unique. I actually bought two of these, and one of them cracked on the way home and so I put it in a box along with other things that, you know, sometimes when you buy things, um, you might buy them and they're taped together and there's a set of five and one of the plates is, you know, broken or chipped or anything like that. I put all that stuff into a box down in my basement. And the plan is, is to sometime in the future, I'm not sure when, I'm going to make a project out of all the broken and chipped up items, you know, I might break them up and make them into like some sort of mosaic or something like that. At least that's the plan. This is obviously a usable cup. It can be used for serving and it is great for decor. You could put like, you know, an artificial plant in there or a real plant. Good for as a planner too. And this guy, I love, love, love the colors on this guy. Ducks are not always the most popular items. I got this duck and it's an Otagiri and I just recently bought a couple more but you guys will see that later. <laughs> That's going to be in a haul video, video later. Isn't he adorable? Look at the colors. He is in mint condition. I'm going to show you the bottom and it's also a music box. This is Memory Otagiri Japan. How awesome is that? So not only is he a duck, but he's a music box. I just thought he would be great for fall decor. And then recently, I had this in one of my tiered trays uh, for a tiered tray collab. And um, it's a basket weave like planter but it would also be good as a serving dish wouldn't that be cool to like put crackers in it like just stack up the crackers in this like ceramic basket so it's called wicker weave by brody it's a vintage piece and again all of these pieces because that's the last one i was going to show you they're all available on my ebay and some are cross posted to etsy Here's just one more quick pass through of all the items.
Before I could edit this video and publish it, I sold this mug. So by the time you're seeing this video, this mug will be shipped out to its new owner. I hope you guys enjoyed this resale review. I just wanted to pull out those items and show them to you again and let you know that they're still available. Again, the link to my eBay is down below in the description in my link tree. And you can always ask me any questions at my email, which is leftlanefinds at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Put any comments or questions down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. And I'll see you guys later.